One, two, three, this one's for you. you Four, you. five, six, this one's for the cream. cream Seven, cream. eight, nine, this a life I know, not a life I chose. Reason why I spit my flows. One, flows. two, three, this one's for you. you. Four, you. five, six, this one's for the cream. cream. Seven, cream. eight, nine, this the life I know, not a life I chose. Eva. Don't say that. Why would you say that? I'm attempting some refuge. Please don't be here. You can't totally spaz like that and expect to be left alone. You're being a crazy bitch, and I'm here to help. Not helping. Okay, talk to me. If we're gonna resolve whatever's vexing you so, you're gonna have to loosen that conversation belt and open up. I feel I've sufficiently summarized my vexation. It's shh. Your life, Stephen, is orange juice and all the nasty, no good feelings. That's the pulp. Let me be the sieve to strain your pulp. Oh, I don't like pulp. I'm waiting for an indication you're actually listening to me right now. Just get real with each other. For example, something I'm feeling right now is a mild to moderate loathing toward you for ruining everything. So you hate me now? I didn't say that. I said I was feeling it toward you. Yeah. 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 Would have been done 15 minutes ago if you'd have helped out. I told you. I'm busy. We've got two hours with this equipment left, Becca. I know this. You shouldn't have wasted so much of the budget on this scrap of wood. Maybe we could have had three hours with it. This goes in. If you had to give your actors full scripts, then maybe Steve wouldn't have stormed off set. Didn't even think that kind of stuff actually happened. But there he was, the storming. What a disappointment that kid turned out to be, huh? It's the last time I work with friends, I tell ya. Ultimate disappointment. It's like pouring a big tall glass of milk, taking a swig and finding out it's not pulp free. Shit's turned sour. What are you doing? This is fine. You should have told him about the last scene. Mere words could not express the kind of emotional journey they're going through. The script is made of words. Uh, correction. The script is made up of art. You should have told him. What is this? You, you siding with Steve now? We're in our 11th hour. One scene left and we got it in the can. Six shots. Six shots. No. I just wish you weren't so childish. If you genuinely wish to dialogue with me, stop calling me childish. Tell me I'm stuttering frequently enough, I'll start to stutter. <laughs> you blame everything on learning disabilities. No, this. No, what I'm talking about. I mean, the monster experiment? Ringing a bell? They did this psychological experiment in 1939. They took these 22 orphan children and they gave them speech therapy. They... What's so funny? Orphans? Oh my god. Just half of them were praised for their fluency. The other half were mercilessly bashed and ridiculed for stuttering. Some of the normal speaking children who were bashed for stuttering ended up actually developing speech impediments and stutters. Negative assessment only increases negative results. Okay, so you're blaming your being childish on our noticing and subsequently remarking on your being childish. You called me childish a good two dozen times before I displayed symptoms of such. Chicken or the egg, diva. Point is, when you suddenly refuse to film the final scene of a short that we've been slaving over all day, it's childish. How are you okay with all of this? Okay, what can I say to terminate this grand mal tantrum so we can get you back on set and shoot this thing? Nothing. Not leaving Van. Like Van. Van safe. I thought you got acting. It's not about you. As an actor, we are here to serve the story, not your delicate sensibilities when it comes to subject matter. 
give the role to Becca, I will tell this story all over the place. You sure you wouldn't mind stabbing me in the back like that? As long as you and I are playing these two characters and I refuse to step foot back on that set, okay? With the exception of a major rewrite of the scene. Rewrite? Because who gives a care package about Jake's artistic vision? Yeah, you, know, you know what? Changing the last scene would be like if Frodo got to the top of Mount Doom and then just pleasantly handed the ring over to Sauron. Nope. Okay, or if Tom Hanks was rescued at the very beginning of Castaway. I wish he had been. I could think of a really perfect example if I had a little bit more time. I'm sure you could. An underdog sports movie. Terrible. Where... Stop talking. Yeah, fine. This is a boring conversation anyway. Well, that was easy. You don't mind uh, hip-hopping on out while you're at it? I'm not leaving. You said you were in a dark place. Do not touch me. It's okay. No, it's not. I did tell him. I said I'd written an incest piece, and he was very congratulatory. Okay, come on. Let's go get this sulker. Still being uppity and close-minded. This isn't cool, man. Do you understand the production delays that you're causing? Go elsewhere, all of you. Oh, you are way too early in your career to be this stubborn. I'm not shooting a scene that culminates in my character copulating with his sister. I told you it was an incest piece. I said invest piece. I thought we'd a financier for once. I thought you said insects. I've been like, where are the bugs pretty much this entire time? Like, what? <laughs> <sighs> Steven, I need you to listen because this is my trump card, but Sally has no problem with it. Yeah, I'm at least doubly disturbed in her alleged lack of discomfort. If it makes you feel any better, we could edit out all the obvious references to your being siblings. No. Still siblings in RL, moron! Seriously, would you do this? What, the scene or cowering your body? The role, yes. Oh, I'm not an actress. Pretend? Just for a second. That you're an actress. Well, pretend equals acting. Try! Oh, I don't know, it's too weird to consider we're strictly platonic chums, you and me. Okay, I, I, I mean with a sibling, but you know, you're insulting me just kind of proves my point. Really? I found the negotiation process to be disagreeable. I decided some isolation was in order. What do you hope to accomplish by barricading yourself in there? Hopefully not having cinematic sex with my sister. Fact, Stephen. You can't withstand siege. If we don't get you, the disease or famine will. Second fact. I have the keys, you clown. Van keys, motherfucker! Motherfucker! What? Stephen, I don't want to have to resort to violence here, but you know I can't rewrite. I'm but a mere conduit to this story, okay? I have no right to manipulate it. You see, we artists, we don't just conceive of this stuff. We don't make stuff up willy-nilly. No, we're mere surrogates for some greater purpose. Do you understand? Joaquin did it. Earned him an Oscar nod. Artist. Yeah, I want to stress the fact he wasn't acting opposite his actual sister. Plus, now he went crazy. Joaquin did make it kind of hot, though. I would have totally been down for some brother loving with him. Irrelevant. Last shot. No excuses. Let's just do it. Hey, Jake, I think it's time you get those keys out of your pocket. If I have to render this guy unconscious and wire his body up like a marionette, I will. For these last shots, I will. Yeah. I'll do it. Such a wank. Kill my... Oh. We have to film this insta viral. Uh, oh. Get out of the van, you bitch coward! I'm fucking dying! You're not bleeding. 
Yeah, not, not externally maybe, but I'm probably hemorrhaging. I'm definitely fatally wounded. I mean, there's no swelling. There's, there's no <laughs> pooling your blood under the skin. How'd you fall? I didn't fall. You have to fall for the reshoot. Ah! You jumped. How did you land? On my feet like a cat. But then I rolled. Cats don't roll. My leg hurts. You're fine. Oh. I hate Steve's crying. So much drama with that boy. Jake's fine, Steve. You didn't kill him. I'm a throttle, you, Jake. Jake, I'm so sorry, man. You're my best friend. I didn't mean it. Jerk. We are getting another shot, right? My recent brush with death has triggered a sudden epiphany about the script. I'm gonna write an epilogue for Sally to monologue, and then Steve need only do whatever the fuck he's already doing. Oh my god, I feel alive. The creative juices are sprinting again. My creative juices are sprinting. Now apocalypse, scene 26, take one. Mark it. And action. Ah! Wretched woe! Here I stand on the precipice of mine own existence, dreading fate's course. Here, my love, my brother sequesters himself in our archaic ruin of the civilization that no longer is. Uh, what's the next line? Our discontent and solitude made tangible. Our discontent... <laughs> what? What am I talking about? Just keep going. What I, I don't know what that one means. Okay. It's, just do it. Here within me blossoms our pure blood baby, our salvation, our fresh start, our cane. Abel. Dude, Cain's older. I went to Sunday school. Yeah, but Cain's a murderer. What? Just keep going. Stop directing her. Just, just keep going. Our cane. What should I? Uh, I don't know. Oh, what's he doing? That fucking bad. Uh, improv something. They, they're. Uh, uh, cut. So it's only right now that I stick to the truth. Stop.